it up at the grandstand with Stevie Calder. Gene Miles behind him together with Tony Curry. And uh, there'll be some anxious moments, I'm sure, coming up there today. That's Kevin Walters. Referee out in centre field is Bill Harrigan. And we're just about ready to go in this uh, big one today, round number 18 of the Winfield Cup. The battle of the two top teams in the comp. And referee Harrigan blows the whistle away they go. Benny Elias drives it deep down into Broncos territory. It'll be taken back there by Greg Dowling, who'll be leading the side, and they'll be looking for uh, plenty of that from him today. Yes, uh, Gene Miles has been the captain uh, this season, and he has led by example. He's been former outstanding, but he's got that knee injury, as David Porter mentioned. He'll be out for today's game. Greg Dowling responsibility rests with him. And uh, that's going out there to Dale Shearer. Of course, Kieran Bolt is in the side and will be anxiously watching his progress throughout the day. He's been in under a fitness cloud all week. So back over there to Chris Johns. He's played some outstanding football for the Broncos this year. Goes to ground right on the quarter. McCann coming a little bit high. Some of the crowd a little bit anxious about that. That's Andrew G. 25 metres inside Broncos territory. Away from their own line on the final tackle. Back it goes to Hoff. He'll put it deep downfield. Freeman's back there for Balbane. He'll take it. And he'll just stand and wait to work out... He could stand there all day, although Dale Shearer is onside. Good work from Shearer. He was behind Paul Hoff when the kick went downfield. That means he's the only player who's still in an onside position. He can come through and make the tackle. And some hefty Balmain defence coming in, or rather uh, Broncos defence coming in there on Balmain in the opening part of the match. That's Wayne Pierce, just to the halfway mark now. Dummy half is Benny Elias. Back over to Edmed coming up there. Just watch for these flat rucks, Bill. This is what Balmain like to do. They like to take the ball on the advantage line about five metres flat of the ruck. There it is there. And there's Paul Sirenan taking it up, but he's going to be knocked over there by Andrew G. Final tackle now to Elias. Elias is going to put it up. Hoff is back there. Good kick. Going back in support is uh, Willie Kahn. It'll bounce into the end goal area. Still going. It's going to be scooped back over there as O'Brien came through for Balmain to be a dropout from underneath the goal. No urgency whatsoever there from Brisbane on two counts. One on Elias. He got the kick away. Now all he wanted to do was get it in space. Now he picked it nicely, got it right in the middle, and therefore Hop had to come across and just in time knocks it dead. So the result of the early match here this afternoon, the Brisbane Broncos took it out by 30 points to nil. They did 6-0 at halftime, but really got their act together in the second half and drew away to a convincing win here today of 30 to nil. And uh, I think, uh, David, one of the things we saw there was Bob Conway returning and kicked several goals to uh, really belt home the advantage. Had a fine game, uh, Bob Conway. He kicked very well, but what a kick that one was. 60 metres on the fly, forces an error from Balmain soon after. Brisbane in possession. Tony Madison uh, plays it back. It'll be Andrew G taking it up. I mentioned conditions out here. They're outstanding. Here's Tony Durkin touchline. They certainly are, Bill. The conditions are magnificent. The crowd is even better. A, a capacity a house at Lang Park again today. No breeze to speak of. The slight breeze that is blowing behind the Broncos in the first half. We're set for one hell of a game. That we are as Langer takes it, sends it away to Walters. Walters trying to get around the tackle, coming in over there from Parrish. Forced back a little bit. Uh, also getting in there this time will be Tim Brasher. But from uh, the play across field it goes. Gavin Allen's going to put in a wobbly old kick there. Getting away from Freeman. He'll take it on his own quarter line. Gets it back to Gary Jack. Jack starting to move, gets his pass outside, coming up there is O'Brien. Willie Kahn comes at him from one side. And some driving uh, defence is going to take care of him. The tackler from the other side was the front rower in Gavin Allen. So it's Balmain sending it across field. They're not gaining a great deal. McCann eventually going to ground with it about 20 metres out from his own line. Dummy half is Benny Elias. He'll feed it away to Pierce. But this Broncos defence is well up to the task today. They're... Um, swarming up on top of them as they come through Balmain and there's another example of it now they mean business today don't worry about that Elias juggled it did he knock it on the referee says no just held it and a little bit of, a, like it. Bit, of a a bit of trouble bit of a scuffle going on here they'd forgotten all about the ball Sheeranham was the one who took it up Andrew G right in the center of things fortunately most of the players came in to break things up and not to carry it on but Balmain somewhat flustered Here's the pass from Elias up to Sirenen. He gets taken heavily in that tackle by Gavin Allen. Over the top home as well. Allen came in for a second snipe. Then a second hit on Sirenen from behind. It was Siren. Andrew G that came in from behind there. Certainly uh, Paul Sirenen has been a, a target uh, in the early stages of this match. He put a big hit on uh, Greg Dowling a little while ago. Bill Harrigan issuing instructions here to uh, the captain, Greg Dowling, and also on Andrew G. And he's going to give a penalty here. Wally Lewis down to the touchline. What do you think of that one, Walter? 
Well, it certainly looked a, a dubious decision there, Bill. It, it looked like he made contact with his chest if, if the penalty, in fact, was given for a high tackle. But then again, you've got to climb a ladder to get up to tackle Paul Sooner around the ears. Yeah, he's a pretty, pretty tall, all right. So back it goes to Freeman. Freeman to McNeil. He's been one of the, the jinx men for this Brisbane Broncos team. Whenever he's played for Balmain, he's really given us a hard time. Obvious pattern emerging here, Bill, that Warren Ryan is not going to try and come straight up the middle against Brisbane here. He's thrown the ball quite a few times from the base of the ruck and trying to spread Brisbane out. So back it comes to Maguire. Maguire is going to be put down just short of the quarter line. So at this stage at Lang Park, no points on the ball. And Elias moves into the attacking quarter, but he's lost the football. The penalty will go against the Brisbane Broncos. Against the marker, or it is actually in the play the ball. Greg Dowling here listening to Bill Harrigan. There's the uh, tackle by Dowling. Well, that looked quite okay to me. The only thing I can see there that he may have got the player lying at the base of the ruck that possibly interfered with Elias, but highly technical penalty and a chance for Balmain to get two points. Yes, Timmy Brasher will be the man put, uh, attempting to put the first points on the board for the Tigers. Played in the fullback role in the first clash at Leichhardt Oval and scored that fabulous try off the bomb from Elias. And so far this year has kicked 30 goals. As Warren Ryan looks on today, his 250th game as coach in first grade football in Sydney. And a great strike rate, 157 victories in the 249 outings. 63%. Two premierships and four times runner-up with Newtown, Canterbury and those back-to-back -back appearances in the grand final for Balmain. Can the Tigers put first points on the board? The kick is a shocker. Taken by um, Brisbane through Shearer. And look at this electric player in open space. Terrific run by Shearer. And good defence by Balmain. Kerrod Walters. Oh, that's they were up very heavily on uh, Gavin Allen and now the Tigers come back from that error by Brisbane. Kieran Wallace can't afford to throw dummies out of that dummy half position. You either throw it or you run. Parrish got the pass away to McCann and Madison wrapped him up but he unloaded the ball back to Pierce. He got it away to Elias. The Tigers look dangerous. Freeman with a floating pass. Well he can't. They won't catch him. He's flying. Well he can't. will go over for the try. His 12th try of the year, and Lang Park has erupted. Well, Brisbane think they've had all the bad luck against Balmain in previous five outings. The luck has finally turned. An intercept pass, Brisbane don't get many. They often give some. Willie Kahn had to go for it. Balmain had a three-man overlap, and then the pace of Kahn. McNeil, forget him. Gary Jack does well. He runs from a long way back to finally get Willie Kahn just as he's grounding the ball near the uprights. Broncos get a stroke of luck, they've hit the front. Here's Wally Lewis. Yes, a stroke of luck it certainly was, but very well read by Willie Kahn there. Wayne Bennett's defensive pattern usually is to back off to make sure that we've got enough coverage out wide uh, for when the opponents swing the ball. But Willie uh, ran in. He's a, a guy of very limited experience, but uh, he's certainly shown a, a lot of uh, a lot of talent there to come in and, and snatch that from, uh, from out of the middle of the air. Yes, try number 12, and he's only played 12 games in first grade. I would say that's a pretty handy strike rate for this young fellow. Only 21 years of age. He hails from Roma. He's one of the new heroes of Lang Park. And today he scored a vital try in front of a packed house. So Dale Shearer, the leading point scorer for the Broncos this year, as Wayne Pearce gets the Tigers in a huddle under the goalpost. A try against the run of play. They were really on the attack. Shearer, 42 goals. 10 tries, 124 points. And that's as the touch judges see Dale Shearer at the moment. And I think the crowd will tell the story. Will he put the Broncos in the lead by 6 to nil? Yes, sir, he has. The Broncos with a very handy lead after nine minutes of play. Time for the restart of play. It's McCann who drives it deep. Hoff will take it in the in goal. Those safe pair of hands. And in a moment of a few strides, he takes play to within a couple of metres of the quarter line. Well, David, it's a funny old game because Balmain had the ball. They're in a great try scoring opportunity. Wow, here's another technical penalty. Bill Harrigan's going to walk them another 10 metres for dissension as well. He's got Terry Madison for passing the ball after called held. Now, look, there's 30,000 screaming people here. He's 10 metres away from Terry Madison, and he... Wimper's out held and Madison's supposed to hear him. You've got to feel sorry for the guy. They've been worked, walked another 10 metres and here's a chance for Balmain to take two points. 
Penalties are 3-0 to uh, Balmain. Greg Dowling today leading the side in the absence of the injured Gene Miles. There's Miles at the stand. Wayne Bennett, pensive, and big Sam Bacco there as well. Brasher so far missed with his earlier attempt. So let's see what he can do with this one. That first one was a shocker. Wally Lewis down on the touchline. Oh, mate, I, I, I really have a, a lot of, lot of trouble uh, agreeing with the referee there that he's, uh, that he's called hell. It, it <laughs> makes me take my, cast my mind back to a certain state of origin game. If, uh, if that's what uh, the position of player is when he's held with the football and is required to play the ball, well, then uh, Queensland wouldn't or shouldn't have conceded a penalty. Yeah, here's a kick coming in from Brasher. He's missed it. It's hit the upright, but McNeil will get it. He gets it outside to McCann. McCann's going to be pulled down 10 metres out. So they're still on the attack, Balmain. As Neil comes up to dummy half, he'll swing it back inside to Maguire. Upended and put to the ground over there. Dowling leading the charge. This is where you've got to move up. G not far behind in that tackle either. Out to Edmed. Edmed goes to ground with it. Elias for dummy half. What's this scheming little player? He gets it outside to Cyril and charging his way up and loads up to Maguire. He can't handle it. Comes out to O'Brien. Knock, Knock on by Maguire. There's no doubt about that. Harrigan hasn't missed that one. Cyril in a great charge. Got very close to the try line. Popped the ball up. Maguire couldn't get it on the fingertips. The ball had been knocked on. O'Brien picks it up. It's too late. Running for the scrum feed from Alan Langer. Ian McCann jumped. Uh, well, it was a half-hearted one, wasn't it? He was hoping that it might have been a try, but it's going to be lost now by Hoff. Ball rolling loose. Going back over there this time is Wayne Pierce. He's being chased by Walters. But eventually upended. Gets it to Elias. Elias put down by Chris Johns just in, just outside the quarter line. Well, that's, there's a justice penalty this one. Dale Shearer in to make the tackle. Brasher objected to it. And in a second tackling action by Brasher on the tackler in Dale Shearer. Now, look, she had done some, I should say Johns had done some good work. Shearer comes in. Brasher objects. He pushes the tackler. You can't do that. That's a second tackle. Brisbane get a relieving penalty. There's plenty of nerves out there and none more than Paul Hoff. He looks a bit shaky. Of course, he was under an injury cloud right through the week. So was his fellow, uh, Kieran Walters, but he takes the tap, sends it outside to Dowling, makes some valuable ground, getting it up to about eight metres inside Balmain territory. We're creeping up out wide there again in that back line, but this is Gavin Allen taking it straight up the centre. Lost it. Elias gets it for the referee to play a knock-on. Well, Brisbane's uh, ball handling has been uh, poor. They've lost a couple of uh, balls. Here's Gavin Allen up the middle of the ruck. The ball stolen from him by Maguire. Knocked on by Balmain. Brisbane feed and loose head. Out to Kevin Walters. He's trying to push away Neil, but Neil grabs him by the arm and wrestles him to the ground. Dummy half up there is Shearer. Shearer getting it back this time to Chris Johns. Crowd's starting to call for a penalty out wide from referee Harrigan. Getting up to play it. Well, they are about three or four metres in front of him. I suppose you're entitled to ask for something. This is Dowling. Another good strong run by the captain today. Gets it up to the quarter line. Dummy half is Walters. Out over there to Langer. Langer delays the pass. Now to Walters. To Madison standing wide. But Madison is going to be wrapped up. Kevin Walters dummy half again. No, Kieran takes over. Back to Alfie. Langer trying to slip his way up the centre. He gets to about 20 metres out from the Balmain line. Final tackle. And the dummy half waiting up there, Walters. Back over to Shearer. He in turn swings it away to Kevin Walters. He puts it up high. They're all offside. Back there is Gary Jack. Jack takes it, and there's the penalty. They're all offside, Bill. Inside the five metres, Gary Jack took the ball on the full in his own in-goal area. But Bill Harrigan has decided that uh, he's going to give the penalty. That was bad play by Brisbane. You do not put up a bomb with a double pass from the ruck that close to your try line. All the players must be in front of the kicker. You kick out of the dummy half or very flat. So now we wait for the tap to be taken with Elias sending it back to Edmed. Edmed charging his way up there. The big fellow eventually put down midway between the quarter and halfway in Balmain territory. That's Bruce McGuire. A couple of big hits coming in. Gavin Allen led the charge. Played forward this time by Maguire. Now he's got Elias. Now he's lost the ball. It's going to be taken over there by Gavin Allen. Broncos come away with possession. Three all the drop ball at the stage. From these two teams, Walters to Madison. Madison trying to find a way up the centre, but Edmund's there to stop his progress. This is Walters. Langer cuts out Shearer, gets it away to Hoff. Hoff going to be well taken over there by James Grant. Ball and all job. So Carr coming away from dummy half is Hancock. Here's the final tackle now. So Walters will swing it back to Alan Langer. Little kick through by Langer. Going back there is Gary Jack into the in-goal area. 
He'll take it back there. Madison coming at him. Madison and Walters combine. They'll hold him up in the end goal area. Well, I still would have thought they could have been offside again. Gary Jack there uh, took the ball. I didn't think they gave him five metres. Let's have a look at it. Kevin Walters, I believe, was in front of Alan Langer. Bill Harrigan not deciding this time that was the case. Madison makes the tackle. Walters comes in. McGuire got the pass away to Neil, who nearly got through that first line. He got away from the tackle of Gavin Allen. Now Elias giving it away to Wayne Pierce. And it's great to see Pierce back playing football again. He finished his first 80 minutes last week. Prior to that, he'd only played 85 minutes of football in the entire season. The big and the small, Alan Langer takes uh, Sheeran underground. Now Freeman away for Ben Elias. His kick will go down towards Hoff and Hancock. Kicking early in the tackle count on tackle number three. So Hoff ran away from Hancock. Got away from, no, he didn't get away from Elias. That was a great chase. Langer, dummy half for Hancock. Took on Grant. Very close to the touchline. Shearer got it away for Kerrod Walters. Madison is the dummy half. Hone. Strong run from Hone. Takes it 32 out from his own goal line. An injured player, Tony Durkin of the Broncos camp. I think I find uh, David, that's Gavin Allen getting his boot back on. They're trying to finally retrieve it for him. I don't think he had any idea where it was. Lost it. Penalty to the Brisbane Broncos, and Brasher throws well, the football away. The problem there is the referee looked away there. As the tackle was made by Kevin on Kevin Walters, he definitely lost the ball. Referee was looking away, and within a couple of seconds, as much as a couple of seconds later, he looked back. The ball uh, was in Balmain's hands. He had no option but to give the penalty. And Kevin Walters had a bit to say, uh, pointing it out to him too. So play will come up to just short of halfway. It's Willie Khan who gets the ball to Kerrit Walters, and he in turn gives it to the skipper, Dowling. Grabs a vital 10 to take play beyond the halfway line. Brilliant sunshine, perfect conditions at Lang Park. Andrew G. the two number 11s come together with Sirenen. Back it goes to Allen. He decides to straighten it up. But a bit of lack of cohesion there by Brisbane. Walters away for Madison. That's a gain of 8 or 10. So play is midway between the half and the quarter line. Brisbane on the attack in Balmain's end of the ground. Garrett Walters not quite sure where he was going on that occasion. Eventually no. climbed up there by Sirenen. No way, he's 100% fit, Bill. Back it comes this time to Kevin Walters, to Willie Kahn. He decides to cut back inside, but it's got to be wrapped up. Chased over there by his opposite number in O'Brien. Final tackle, they work the blind side with Alan Langer. The little kick through, but it goes straight up there to Freeman. Freeman climbed right on the quarter line. So now to McNeil, to Elias. A keeper going across that back line there, uh, coming into it is Wayne Pierce. But well wrapped up, Walters underneath. Looks pretty confident, Wayne Pierce, Bill, uh, on the comeback trial. My word, he does. He's moving very, very smartly out there today. Well, no missing four tackles. And Broncos only the one solitary one at this stage. Coming half a life. Now it's played forward once again. By Parrish on this occasion. Elias waits for it. On the final tackle. To Freeman. Back to Jack. Jack will put the boot underneath it. Straight to Michael Hancock. And the winger decides to go straight ahead. Got away from the first up tackle of Brasher. Here he goes. On his way through. Didn't look for Dale Shearer inside. Goes to ground with it. Kicked away over there. It's uh, the set tackle count starting again as it was touched by Balmain. This is Shearer going for a bit of a run. Gets it outside to Hoff. Some room to move. The big legs start to go. But McNeil came in underneath. Tapped him and that put him off balance. From the play of the ball, Johns to Walters to Langer. Madison. Madison loses it. Rolling loose. Going to be picked up over there by Balmain. Brisbane not quite on their game. They're having flashes of brilliance and then some untidy play that's allowing Balmain a breather. Uh, Terry Madison down on one knee after that run through. As we see McCann taking it up for Belmont. Unloads it back to Elias Freeman. Then away to Ed Med. Ed Med tackle gets it back to Freeman to Siren and Siren and getting it outside. Coming through over there is Brasher. Lost ball. Picked up by Hancock in the broken play, but it's quickly going to be grabbed. Pushing away, bit of pushing and shoving going on all the way around the track over there. This is Shearer again. But Sirenen in the tackle, combining there with Benny Elias. So Walters. Back to Allen. He decides to take it up the centre, look for support, but couldn't get the pass away to Kirit Walters. There's some gaps there in the middle. I think they should persevere there a bit longer. 
Well, they've made some good ground. Players such as Dowling have been making some nice ground up the centre. Even the, the smaller blokes, such as Madison and Gavin Allen on that occasional, though he's no, no small bloke, I guess. But there are some biggies there for Balmain. Final tackle now. Let's see if they get a better kick away this time with players onside. So here's Alan Langer. Decides to run it this time. He's through the gap. He gets it away to Kevin Walters. Try! Kevin Walters in for the try. Great stuff this from Brisbane. We saw McNeil try and come in on that angle to try and cut things out. Alan Lang has been kicking uh, every time so far. He filled everyone, including yours truly. Dummies the kick and dashes. What a beautiful way to do it. He's put up four bombs already today. There's the dummy, the dash, alongside him. The Ipswich connection, Kevin Walters. He gets there nicely to score. What's a good Broncos try? Here's Wally Lewis. Key words that Billy said. We'll see what sort of a kick they put up this time. And I think that's exactly what Belmain were expecting. We saw the best sidestep in the business coming to play with the man that's the best support player right alongside him. Beautiful yeah. stuff this from Alan Langer. There's Mick Neelard coming on the inside, playing a little step, straightens up nicely. Walters have to go across and the tackle of O'Brien. Well, Billy, how many times have we seen Mick Neal come up and nullify an attack the way that he does all the time? And that time he was caught wanting, he was up too far, and Langer read it brilliantly. So here's a kick now by Dale Shearer. It's going to be away to the left-hand side of the uprights. Waved away, the score remaining. Broncos leading Balmain by 10 points to nil. Beneath the goal mouth. That's not the best drop out you've ever seen. Taken back there by Gary Jack. The Broncos lead is 10 points to nil. Jack almost through. Got his pass to Elias. Elias gets it back to Brasher. He's going to be tackled over there by Alan Langer. Dummy half Elias. Back onto Parrish. Parrish up the centre. G comes at him. Madison's there. They combine to put him over. Brisbane backs well up offside, Bill. So back over there to Pierce. He got out of Mark Holmes' tackle. Doesn't get away for the next one. That's uh, Kevin Walters. Elias getting it away to Maguire. Maguire knocked over. Nine metres out from the Broncos line. Elias back over to Freeman. Then to Neal. Neal outside to Brasher. Brasher now gets his pass to McCann. A little bit of room to move. Back inside to O'Brien. He'll go through the hole and score. Balmain in for their first try. Broncos lead up 10 to 4. They made it look easy, really, the Tigers. They've been in good position. They've been working for this try. Good backline movement. McCann does well. He was put on the outside, and then he went further out, took the defence with him. Freeman fires the pass out. McNeil, all they wanted to do was stand and deliver. Rash to the line there. That's a bit of variation. McCann on the outside. He runs wide. O'Brien back on the inside nicely. Yawning gap. Shoot for the line. Balmain's first try. Here's Wally. Yes, a clever try it was too. They had to, uh, the support of numbers there, and it really was a, a good pass here, a cutout pass which put McCann into open spaces. Of course, the experience showing here where he comes inside, and uh, the Broncos just unable to, to cover up uh, the deficiency of numbers. O'Brien's 10th try of the season. It's his first one in about uh, six weeks, but the leading try scorer in the Balmain camp this year, and he only scored four. 2 and 88 and 2 and 89, so it's been a bit of a try scoring bonanza for uh, Steve O'Brien in 1990. So Brasher with the ball placed. He moves in, pushed it to the right. Not a happy day with the boot for Tim Brasher. The Broncos lead by 10 to 4. Four and a half minutes remain in this first half. Ball back at the halfway mark for the restart with Dale Shearer. Absolutely fantastic conditions here today for Rugby League and this very big crowd have enjoyed every minute of this uh, first half so far. We've seen three tries, two to Brisbane, one to Balmain. The Broncos lead by 10 to 4. Elias now for Sirenen. Trying to unload the football. Called his way to just short of the quarter. Elias switching play this time for Pierce. Oh, another big hit from Allen and, uh, and Andrew G. 18 tackles so far for Andrew G. Certainly earned his monies out there today already. Now the big striding centre McCann. Wrestled to the ground by Langer and Madison. Freeman is the man at dummy half. He's decided to run out of that on the final tackle. He finally got the kick in. Now what can Hancock do? He'll try and beat... Grant on the outside again. But Grant and Russia wrap him up. Shearer is the dummy half. He will get it back for Paul Hopp. The defence up very quickly on him. He's to within one metre of the halfway line. Langer. The pass out Walters. Chris Johns. Tried to get inside. Neil. He got the pass back to Walters. 
Khan decided to come back infield, beat Neil, and got over the halfway line. Dowling calling for a blindside. Walters read it well. Dowling pinched another eight or ten valuable yards. Read it well, driven to the ground in defence. Two and a half remaining in the first half. Sirenen and Dowling exchanged a few niceties. It goes to Walters, who threw the dummy, but Nick Neal wouldn't take it. It's the final tackle. Interesting now to see the, the Brisbane tactics on the final tackle. It'll go for home. Well, this is dreadful, this by Brisbane. Mark Home has put in two kicks in this first half, Bill, uh, David, and I'd say probably the only two kicks of his career. Well, he's just wondering why they keep throwing the ball, I think, on the fifth tackle. Brisbane have not been uh, very well organised in that department at all. Wally Lewis down there on the touchline. Wally, they'll need to do a little bit of work on that for the second half. Yes, they certainly will. Uh, we'll be going into the dressing sheds, of course, at halftime, David, and I uh, really do expect Wayne Bennett to... Uh, to echo those thoughts, I'm sure that he really would lay the, 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 the law of the ladder down that uh, their kicking game must improve. Uh, that's where uh, Belmain scored their first try or got the uh, the advantage from their first try when Mark Hearn kicked to Gary Jack and there really wasn't any chasing team available. The kicking game wasn't structured and uh, it cost us 40 or 50 metres when the chasing team wasn't in order. Well, I wonder how good Belmain's chasing game is at the moment because Hancock, for the second time in this match, has just opened them up. Great chase by uh, James Grant. He's got some genuine pace. Shearer unloaded the football. It's back with Gavin Allen. He took on the defence. And he's about uh, 25 metres out. One minute up to half time. Langer got the pass away to Walters. It goes out to Chris Johns. Gave it to Khan. Tried to stand up Steve O'Brien. Can't get around Neil. And McCann came in as well with the ball and all. Johns at dummy half. Goes on his own. Exploits that blind side. Got through one tackle. Taken by O'Brien. Walters rushes into dummy half, giving it away to Andrew G. Final tackle. Langer putting it high. It's on between G and Sirenen. It's been brewing all day. Ball taken, turnover. And Huge punch up in backfield now. And there's another punch up going on with Gary Jack. Well, you can please yourself which fight you watch. There's two going. The first one is quietened down. Now the second. Plenty of feeling, and rest is short with only 15 seconds to go at half time. It's probably just the 10 minutes they need to cool off. That's Judge in. Well, as I said, uh, it started with G and Siren, and they've been niggling at each other all day, but Chris Johns got involved in it also. Very important decision this from Harrigan. Should he award a penalty to Brisbane? They're well within range. Here it is on replay. That's Willie Khan. Now, he'd been heavily tackled. That's the that's where the ball was. Matt, that was uh, Shearer. Didn't like the way Jack was manhandling Willie Khan. Gary Jack tried an uppercut that nearly hit Bill Harrigan. And now we're back on the uh, on the spot of the first incident. Bill Harrigan calling over Dale Shearer. Well, that's for the, that's for the second incident too. He's, well, Shearer resented what uh, happened with Willie Kahn. So I'd say he's got the report of both touch judges here. Now here's the, again, the second uh, on the ball incident, this one. And I think Dale Shearer had every right to resent. Look at the, the face massage that Jack gave Willie Kahn. Ten minutes for somebody. Sirenen. And that isn't half time. That's 10 minutes of the second half he'll be gone for. The referee's not finished yet. He's talking to the Broncos. We're about to see uh, at least a stern lecture. That means there should be a penalty to Brisbane come out of this. 10 minutes. Andrew G. So two of them gone for 10 minutes. I think the penalty should go to Brisbane. There it is. Chance for Dale Shearer. At least he's still around to have a shot for goal. Well, the way things are going, if he wasn't, maybe they'll give it to Mark Ho. <laughs> Billy, uh, uh, Wally, I should say on the sideline, were you surprised that Brisbane didn't look for the one point on that final tackle count? Well, I thought they might have, uh, David. When we had uh, uh, three tackles down, we were around about the 30-metre uh, the mark out from, from the line. I thought maybe they should have uh, just tried to take it infield a little bit, just try and get themselves past that six-point buffer. It uh, really has a demoralising effect if you have seven points in front of a team. Think, well, well, you've got to score at least twice uh, to uh, to get back in the match or in, in front of the match. And uh, it sometimes uh, can take a lot of your confidence away, especially at half-time when you've got ten minutes to think about it. Well, it would have created somewhat of a history because I think... Uh in the two and three quarter seasons that the Brisbane side have been in the Winfield Cup, they have not kicked a field goal. I remember Gene Miles had a crack at one earlier this year, David, but uh, 
It was very adventurous from halfway. First and last, this is an important kick. Dale Shearer on the quarter line. Brisbane will go to the break with a very handy eight-point lead. Tremendous kick from Shearer. Brisbane lead by 12 points to four at half time. We'll be back at Lang Park in just a moment. It's a player's whilst you're at market to concentrate, and the player either side of the ruck, uh, the importance of them just to be able to move up and maintain um, a, a strong area of defence around about there. Our centres only knocked up, uh, I think it was seven or eight tackles between them. So it's quite obvious that Belmain are going to play uh, as much of the, a game as possible around about that ruck area. What about uh, the final tackle? Anything, any discussion on that? Well, he did say that it was very important uh, for the guys to develop their kicking game and make sure that it was uh, very well structured before they got going, but I think that was just a common sense confidence. Here's off on the go now. He's through the hole. He's Gary Jack coming at him, pulls him down and gets the big long leg into touch a couple of metres out. Magnificent tackle by the ex-international Gary Jack. We saw Paul Hoff put his ears back similarly against Canberra. It came off for him that time, but not this time. Bust the line with a good break and then carrying the ball in the right hand, unable to use the fin. Gary Jack, magnificent cover defending tackle. Try saver. In by Freeman. Cutting around over there is James Grant. Tackles in the first half. We'll have a look at it. Brisbane, surprisingly, have had to make more tackles. 106 to 103 by Balmain. Would you believe Andrew G and Gavin Allen? No great surprise there. But G up with 20 tackles. I don't think they'll catch him in while he's off for 10 minutes. Parrish and Siren in the top tacklers for Balmain. In the error department, missed tackles. And that's been the significant one. Balmain 12 and Brisbane 5. Handling errors 6-4. Balmain. Balmain at this stage, down on their own quarter line as Gary Jack drives it deep downfield. Going back is Michael Hancock. The ball gets to Spurts Island, will beat him into touch. Well, Warren Ryan will uh, breathe a huge sigh of relief. His side was in trouble in the early minutes of the second half. That kick has turned things around, puts Brisbane inside their own quarter. All players taking quite some time to come back. The sun there uh, in Brisbane today would be quite warm. And that shows you once again the value of a good kick on that final tackle. In by Alan Langer. Kevin Walters. Johns. Coming at him over there is Brasher. They've lost a bit of ground on that occasion. Down close to their own line now. Dale Shearer away from dummy half. Kevin Walters calling for an offside. Dummy half is Gerard Walters. Back over to Mark Hayne. But the defence is up to the mark, led up there by Wayne Pearce. This is Johns, high one from Ed Med, unloads it, but the ball rolling on the ground will be a Balmain ball. McCann's the man to come away with it. Coming half is Neil, to Elias, a chance for Balmain now. Getting it away to Maguire, Maguire taken by Gavin Allen. So the dummy half winding up there is James Grant. He in turn gets it on to Parrish. But flying in a cross over there with the tackle is Mark Hayne. Gavin Allen involved also. So Freeman. Through the gap goes Freeman. Stepped away from them. Dowling was the nearest one, but he had no chance of getting him. And in goes Balmain for a very important try. He'll take great pressure, and that will Gary Freeman, the New Zealand halfback, up against the Australian halfback. The dummy beats Alan Langer. Look at this. Freeman looks on the outside. Little dummy. Dowling not moving up. You must retain your straight line there. Freeman exploits it. Yes, you certainly must maintain the straight line, but it's going to be argued who was at fault here, whether it was Dowling for not moving up or Langer for not moving up quickly enough. But really the try came about from an early mistake from the Broncos when we turned over possession only 20 metres out. Yes, that was the mistake by Chris Johns, and Gary Freeman with his eighth try of the year punishes the Broncos and has brought them back to within just four points with the kick to come. He's back on the quarter line. Bit of a breeze coming across the kick, but won't affect it too much. Brasher, none from three. Here's a kick by McCann. It is there. Through it goes, so that makes it a lot closer now. Broncos with a lead. Just a little one of two points, 12 to 10. A huge kick over the uh, halfway mark. Now, Khan will go back, waits for the ball to stop, and then picks it up. Takes on the Balmain defence and takes it to within nine metres over the halfway line. They move it now to the left, Langer. That defence up very, very quick. Back it goes. Gavin Allen straightened up the point of attack and took it to Elias. Now Walters, McNeil and Ken. You can hear the crowd yelling. McNeil, it was exploited by Langer again. And Gary Jack equal to the task. He's defended superbly today, Gary Jack. 
Now they move it on the loop again with Dowling taking on the defence. That's good play by Dowling. Now the number is to the right. If they can read it quickly, there could be a try out here to Brisbane. It goes to Langer. Throws the long pass. Walters. Now they go off. Willie Kahn did well. That is a superb try. And he did so well to improve the position for the goal kicker, Dale Shearer. Very cool head on a young man's shoulders, Willie Kahn. He had to wait for the ball to come. Got across the try line and still improved the position. Brisbane, as I said last week, sign of a good side, exploit a weakness, and there it is there. Crasher in trouble. Walter snatched that one out of the air, got into it uh, into the middle of the defensive pattern. Hoff pops the ball out. Willie Kahn waits, comes across the try line, doesn't put it down straight away, improves the position. Brisbane extend their lead. Yes, through, as you said, David, cool head on a, on a young pair of shoulders. I think a lot of people had their hearts in their mouth when Langer went to throw a long pass. Fortunately, Kevin Walters plucked it out of there before the bell main pair of hands could get onto it. But uh, Willie Kahn, quite cleverly and sensibly waiting for it and uh, going around to improve the position. Isn't it uh, funny how quickly a, a, the course of a game can turn? It was only 30 or 40 seconds before when Brisbane were right down this end of the field and uh, looking under a fair bit, it looking, uh, you know, looking like they're in a bit of trouble and under a fair bit of pressure. Well, will the Carnes relieve that pressure somewhat? Momentarily, 13 tries in 12 games. He is second of the day. And Dale Shearer, two from three. A chance to put Brisbane eight points in the lead. An advantage they held at halftime. Sirinan and G are back on the field. He's missed the kick, so Brisbane hold a six-point lead. Ten minutes gone in the second half. So back for the restart of play with Ian McCann. And I did notice, too, when Dale Shearer was having that shot at goal that um, referee Bill Harrigan um, was getting the attention of one of the photographers. There were a lot of those milling around, and one was actually underneath the goalpost. It can be quite uh, distracting. And obviously, Dale Shearer didn't uh, like the distractions. He missed the kick. So now it's Brisbane in possession, 25 metres out from the road line. Mark Hone. Out of the first up tackle. That of Maguire got away from the next one. Finally put down by Edmed. They've missed 17 tackles so far, Belmain. Broncos exploiting it up the centre again. We've had a few gaps here today. Billy, that try by Willie Kahn is the 75th the Brisbane Broncos have scored this year. That's an incredible strike rate. Well, it makes it two tries for him in the match and keeps that incredible record of his going. So there's swarming defence from the Broncos over there to put down Gary Jack. They're still downside in their own, down inside their own quarter. This is Brasher. Getting it underneath was Madison. Knock on there by McNeil. And a very important one. McNeil just trying to move out of the dummy half position as he was picking the ball up. Here's McNeil, just the slightest knock on. A big chance for Brisbane now, centre field scrum. So we'll wait for Alan Langer to bring it round to feed. Paul Hopp looking very anxious to try and come in on this blind side bill as well. Big Sam up there, very colourful today. So Langer getting it away to Walters. Over there to Johns. Johns cuts back inside. He got away from McNeil. He's starting a clap on the pace. Still going. Gets it away to Willie Kahn. Kahn will step back inside to keep away from that touchline. Put down over there this time by O'Brien. And also Freeman. But the Broncos on the attack again via Dale Shearer. Shearer put over some eight metres out. Walters to something half. The crowd's starting to rev up a bit now. Gavin Allen, no one outside of him, so he had to go with the ball. Pretty hard to sell a dummy when there's no one there. Very, very difficult. Walters turning it back the other way to Dowling. Dowling gets it away to Madison. Madison put down a couple of metres out. Just couldn't quite position himself in the gap. There was one there, but Madison came close. Bronc, uh, Walters up as dummy half. Back to Langer. Langer gets it away to Shearer. Shearer props, cutting up in the centre. But he's going to be trapped up in there. Here's the final tackle. Walters to dummy half. To Alan Langer. What will he do? Will he run it? No, there's the little kick coming through. Here's the fan. He'll touch down. That's a try. Try it is. Beautifully done by Alan Langer. Balmain move up extremely quickly on the sixth tackle. Alan Langer, well, you could call this perfect waiting. He had about a centimetre left in this kick as the players raced through. Langer looked outside again. The little grubber kicked through. The race for the ball. 
Well, Hoffie's quite climbed in. Let's have a look at it from the head-on. Here's Wally Lewis. How'd you see it? Well, it, it's, uh, it's a touch-and-go thing, really, but uh, Paul Huff does have the advantage of calling for a reach. Uh, yes, it does look like he got a hand on it, as a matter of fact, but he certainly does have a, a, a very big reach advantage over everybody else. Here it is in uh, almost stop motion. Does Hoff get the ball, the hand on the ball? He certainly does. Fine decision by both touch judge in particular and the referee. And Brisbane now extend their lead. They lead by 20 points to 10 after uh, 15 minutes of the second half. So here's a kick by Dale Shearer. This one is away to the left-hand side. It started off all right, but swung away to the left. So it's Broncos leading by 20 to 10. Finding touch. And the Broncos with a chance to go on the attack from there. So Kieran Walters will send it to Greg Dowling. Dowling's juggled it a couple of times when he's taken the ball. He hasn't dropped it, but he just does give you a bit of a flutter there. Yes, you've got to really time that run perfectly off a, uh, a standing tap. Dowling half once again is Walters. He gets it to Mark Hone. They've done their job up the centre, these boys today, those forwards. Walters to Langer. Was looking inside, there was no one at home. Taken a bit high on that occasion by Maguire. He's been called out. This is two points for Brisbane and a well, bit more feeling. Well, Wayne Pierce throwing punches. I've never seen it before. Well, I can't see any reason why that was necessary to get back involved then. The high tackle was on. Uh, referee Harrigan had coolly blown the whistle to call uh, Maguire over. Why anything would need to erupt. You'd have to be right out in the middle to know why. Let's have a look at it. Alan Langer really left high and dry there. And being high and dry was taken high by uh, Maguire. And it was from uh, the ensuing uh, tackle that problems arose. Well, this one can make it a 12-point break. Should make it a 12-point break. Two converted tries. Are you starting to feel confident now, David? Don't, don't rush into anything. No. Well, this fellow might add to the confidence. Bill Peter Jackson coming on. But I would like another field goal on top of those 12 points, just to be sure. The first one it would be for uh, Brisbane. They've yet to kick a field goal in two and a half years. Dale Shearer looking for the two points. I'm sure Wayne Bennett would say, well, you're scoring tries, you don't need them. So here he goes. No doubt about this one. Another two-pointer on the board. And the Brisbane Broncos lead Balmain by 22 points to 10. So it'll be McCann to restart it. And Gavin Allen got a hand to it. He'll go back to retrieve, close to the Broncos line. And then run it out, and he takes it up. Another strong run up there. Big decision for Wayne Bennett is here to replace now with uh, Peter Jackson uh, going through all the warm-ups on the touchline. Really, all players have done their job. Doesn't seem to be a great deal of injury problems. Perhaps he'll uh, give Kerrit a rest, seeing he was in doubt right up to the start of the match. Greg Dowling getting a bit of an up-ender right onto the quarter line. G takes them on. God, God, he's taken them on all day. And gets a round of applause from the crowd, and rightly so too. So to Langer on the blind side. He in turn to Hancock. Hancock can't get away from the tap. Well, he does get away from James Grant. He gets away from Neil. McCann comes at him and he'll put him down. An amazing runner is uh, Michael Hancock. So this is the final tackle. And it goes to Dale Shearer. Gary Jack takes it safely just inside his own quarter. Decides to run it out. He comes to Alan Langer. For the little fellas in underneath. And the big fellow over the top, Andrew G. Just to make sure of things, I guess. Freeman getting it. Oh, it's going to be scooped back between the legs of um, Benny Elias. Wayne Pierce comes away with it. And there's Terry Madison throwing himself at him on the quarter line. Brisbane a chance here now to really go for it. They could really put uh, Balmain under a lot of psychological pressure by coming over the top here in the uh, last 15 minutes of the match. So it's Neil a dummy half. Away for Edmed. Tripped as he came to the uh, Brisbane defence of Johns. Elias out of dummy half. Sewerman. That's a good run by the big second row forward. He's busted him up wide. The defence came. It's back to Neil. Clever hands for Freeman. Freeman can't get away from Paul Hoff. Like a big tarantula that he came out. Now Grant. That pass looked forward. 
and that is a Balmain try that will be talked about. What a brilliant one it was, though, by the Tigers. They've gone length of the field. Started with Sirenen at the far side. He made the initial break. Support back on the inside. The Tigers show they can attack. Here's the big fellow, Sirenen, striding through the ruck. Andrew G this time not confronting him. Looks on the outside, can't get the pass away. Back on the inside, McNeil, Gary Friedman. Now, he gets caught by Hoff, but Benny Elias is there in support. Hoff just can't get into the ground. Elias, now, what's the timing of the pass? Bang, straight up to James Grant. He fires like a shot out of a gun. James Grant can't be taken then by Michael Hancock. Puts it under the sticks. Balmain are back in the match. Here's Wally Lewis. Back in the match they are. But uh, a very good break from Paul Sirin, and he deserves a lot of the credit for the play here. But Balmain, Balmain supporting play is something that's got to be uh, admired here. They really were uh, out in the ropes a couple of tackles ago, but uh, that pass there, well, that wasn't caught. I'm not sitting here. But anyway, that's uh, that's the way the game goes. Balmain are well and truly back in the match here. As I say, their support play there was first class. It went through about 10 or 12 sets of hands, uh, with Brisbane only needing one more tackle to uh, turn over possession. It'll take the wind out of the sails of the Tigers, work it straight up the middle, belt it up there, get within range, even one that Alfie could chip over. That's the way to go. That's what I was going to say. Who takes it? Gavin Allen, good skills again, trying to unload the football, couldn't. Madison, they'll work for field position. Langer, they move it wide. Walters to Jackson, floating pass, touched in flight, six to go. Hancock did well to keep it in the field of play. Not called by Bill Harrigan, though. Well, it should have been six to go. Hancock, great one by Hancock. Oh, yes! Oh, what a magnificent run by Michael Six to Hancock. go, he's called it. He's now called the six. Try, is it? Willie Khan, hat-trick. The third hat-trick in the history of the Brisbane Broncos has been scored by Willie Khan. Only the second, though, in the Winfield Cup. A player down injured, but that is the ball game and probably the minor premiership. Here it is. The pass out from Jackson was touched there by uh, McCann. Now it's set up by one winger and scored by another. This guy is one of the most phenomenal ball runners in the game. Extreme pace and the ability to beat a man, but doesn't lack strength either. Look at that. When required, bang, straight through Benny Elias. Sat him on his backside. Almost gets there himself. This is a good tackle by Gary Jack to save the day. O'Brien there as well. One winger has got it to there. Willie Carr, the young fella. You've got to be greedy. You've got to be hungry. You want to get the ball across the try line. So you go for it. He did it. Grounded it nicely. That's a fine effort. And something that, uh, Wally, you must be pretty proud of these young fellas in the Broncos. Well, it'd be impossible not to be proud of these two blokes as we see Michael Hancock get assistance to the sideline. He's beaten five players in a run that probably took him around about 70 to 75 metres. And to, had Brisbane, uh, we were looking a little bit shaky from a pass that went astray or was touched in flight to uh, two or three metres out from the field. But uh, for, for guys that are 22 years of age and the other one 18 or 19, we're, uh, we're in pretty safe hands for a few years yet. Here's a kick by Dale Shearer. This oh. one's going to be waved away. So it's 26 to 16 here at Lang Park with eight and a half minutes remaining. So back here at Lang Park and a restart of play. Tony Dirk and a few changes here. Yes, well, as you saw, as we saw there a moment ago, uh, Michael Hancock coming from the field of play. Alan Cairn is on for Michael Hancock. So uh, that means that uh, Peter Jackson goes into the back line. Andy Courier has just come on for... for uh, James Grant's leaving the field. James Grant and also Matt Parrish off and Gary McFarlane on. OK. So we'll finally get play restarted here. So McCann. Deep downfield to be taken by Gavin Allen. Well, David Wright, man of the match in this Broncos lineup today, you're quite welcome to sort it out. Yes, Bill, not an easy one, but it will still be quite a pleasurable uh, duty because there's been uh, plenty of uh, strong performances by Brisbane. You can't win without a very strong pack of forwards against Balmain, but you also need to put points on the board. Brisbane have done both, and 26-16, uh, it's been a fine effort. By the way, that Man of the Match award will be presented down there with Tony Dirk a little bit later by the Premier of Queensland, Wayne Goss, who's a Channel 10 guest out here today, and I guess you'll be getting, like the other 32,000 people, a big thrill out of this win here this afternoon. Billy, one of the great significance about this performance by Brisbane today, they've scored five tries against uh, Balmain, 
going into this match Balmain had only conceded 31 and on five occasions this year it kept the opposition trialer so I think the strike power of Brisbane is evident from that statistic alone. So out it comes to Wayne Pierce. Pierce got away from Jackson's tackle. Now gets the pass away to Courier. Courier's got to be wrapped up though. Put to the ground and the tackle coming about over here by Dale Shearer. So back to Neil, then Elias. Taking it there is McFarlane. Elias to dummy half. Broncos lead of 26 to 16. Maguire. G coming into the tackle together with Alan Langer. Two of the top defenders out there today. Final tackle now. With McNeil coming up to the dummy half spot. Now getting it away to Elias. Cross over there to Dale Shearer on the kick through. Now Shearer will be wrapped up there by Tim Bradshaw. Dummy half Madison. Over to Hoff. Hungry for action again. Tony Durkin, what's the story with Michael Hancock? Well, as we know, Bill Michael Hancock was in doubt for this uh, match right up until yesterday. He's had the flu, and, uh, gee, what a big effort he's put in. He, the reason he came from the field is because he's absolutely out on his feet. He's just been uh, violently ill in the uh, in the Broncos' uh, dugout. But uh, what a superb performance from a bloke who's been very sick. Here's Peter Jackson with it now. Pulled to the ground by Brasher. Benny Elias in there also. Hoff to dummy half. Tackle by Neil. Final tackle with Madison dummying, then putting in the kick. Bouncing away on this occasion from Gary Jack. The fullback eventually retrieving it a couple of metres from his own line. Brisbane's intensity bill has been there right through the whole match. There were six plays in a dead straight line to confront Gary Jack. Then you must have it against good uh, fullbacks who can return the kick. So the dummy half is Elias. Freeman. McFarlane. Pierce getting it away this time to McCann. But he's well wrapped up. McFarlane. Freeman. Doubling around is Freeman. Gets a pass on then over to Brasher. Brasher starting to move. John's coming at him. And Willie Kahn over there also. They combine to put him down. So Freeman. To Maguire. Freeman doubling around again. Elias got away from a high one from Madison. It'll be a penalty. But it's for offside, Bill. Uh, Bill Harrigan right back here on the five metres. A little bit of feeling, but uh, good to see players breaking things up. No future in Fisty Cups at this stage. The high tackle there by Madison on Elias. He immediately appeals to the ref. But the penalty was for offside inside the five metres. So Wayne Pierce, we're into the final five minutes. And Wally, I remember back in 1988... He scored 15 tries in the first season, which is still the season record. Willie Kahn has crept to 14, Dowling's and I hurt. still think plenty more to come as Greg Dowling goes that injured. And I think uh, your little record may be in danger, Walt. I think it's gone, mate. He's only got to maintain uh, a slice of the form, which has uh, seen him produce those tries so far. Here go the Tigers. Andy Courier, Dale Shearer stuck to him like glue. Silly pass from uh, Courier, but it could pay dividends as Edmund takes it inside the quarter. And Greg Dowling, slow to his feet. Shoulder problem, I think. He had an AC joint injury before. That's a bad mistake by Balmain. And Kevin Walters brings it back over the quarter line. Tony Durkin, he doesn't look good, Greg Dowling. No, it's that, uh, it's that shoulder problem again with the Greg Dowling. He went in for shoulder charge and bumped straight away and, uh, and grabbed at the shoulder. But he's also got a crook hand, Porto. He had an injection, I think, in that hand at half time. So, gee, the Broncos certainly can't afford to be without Lewis, Dowling and Miles. David, you're not a great advocate of the shoulder charge. No, I think it's one of the blights on the game at the moment. It can only do damage, not only to uh, the receiver, but also the fellow trying to put it on. There's one thing I'd like to see the, uh, the league look very closely at is outlawing it. Now, the Broncos through G. They led 12-4 at half time. They were under pressure for a while in the second half. But they've kicked away to a 10-point break. 26-16 as Gavin Allen skirts wide of the ruck. Got it back to Langer under pressure. What a good pass out for Shearer. Now, what will he do? What he does best, and that's run. Threw it back. Walters took it over the uh, touchline. Was the sixth tackle, so Dale Shearer quite entitled to lay it back. Walters there, as he is always very busy near the ball. Save the day for Brisbane. Rolly, we talked earlier about monkeys on the back. We've already uh, seen this year Brisbane dispense with the bogey sides in Canberra, South Sydney, Canterbury. And finally... The Balmain Tigers, psychologically, what will this do for the Broncos leading up towards the semi-finals? 
Well, the confidence that will be gained from this match, David, it'll be impossible to be measured. Uh, it really will. I mean, the, the guys, although I'm sure that they were extremely confident of victory today, may have just uh, wondered a little bit, especially when Gino pulled out. But there certainly can't be any uh, any room at all now for uh, uh, for a guy lacking confidence in the team because they've, they've had players out. We've still got three or four blokes on the sideline. Gino's joined them today, and the guys have come up with uh, one of the best victories in the club's history. Yes, Sam Walters getting it away for Chris Johns, taken high in the tackle into the final two minutes as Maguire takes John's high. Madison goes to dummy half. Khan was in from the right wing looking for work, but Shearer made the break. Now Khan's got the football, and he takes it inside the corner. Will we see the drop goal? Dowling belts it up, unloaded the football for Khan, to Langer, to Walters. Balmain's defence is there. Nine metres short of the try line. Probably about a minute and a bit left. It'll go to Langer. Gave it to Gavin Allen. And Allen's five metres short. Madison. Took on the defence. Popped it back for Allen. It goes back for Andrew G. That's been knocked down. And the referee has ruled the knock on. Well, this head and feet, Brisbane, ten metres out and against so important Brisbane a commanding 10 point lead they'd love to make it 16 in into the final minute and quite conceivably the minor premiership could be Brisbane's after this they have scored five tries to three three to Willie Carr now Johns giving it away to Hoff he's in search of try number two can he do it? He's done it. Paul Hoff. That's his 10th try of the year. They reckon the fellas like to practice their skill training. This fellow, Paul Hoff and Willie Kahn, they tell me they like to practice a bit of skill training, kick and chase at training. Now, this doesn't just come into your head for the sake of it. This guy would have practiced it a hundred times. Look at it. Into traffic, little dribble through. How do you pick up a ball on the run? You get down to it when you're about six foot five. You've got no option. Here's Wally Lewis. Yes, he, he certainly would have practiced his skills there, mate. But uh, the kick, the first kick, well, I'm sure, I'm sure when he practices, he'll try and make that first kick a little bit better, aren't he? Win a meter, but uh, his dribbling skills were very good. And he got those four foot long arms down to pick the ball up. He's, his reach advantage is shown again. Yeah, what a try! Paul Hoff, a double today, 10 tries for the year. Remembering he scored that hat trick on the boo against Newcastle, and he just grows and grows in confidence. This young fellow, three for seven, Dale Shearer. It's 30 points to 16, and for the sixth time in the 1990 season, Brisbane have scored six tries in a match. Disappointment for Wayne Pearce. He hasn't had to suffer that disappointment against the Broncos before. Brisbane would know how he feels. Brisbane now riding high, 11 straight victories. Dale Shearer to put the icing on the cake. He moves in. It's coming around, no chance. It's 30 points to 16. There's the Huda. The Balmain Hoodoo has been broken. Brisbane probably have wrapped up the minor premiership for 1990 the final score 30 points to 16 they led 12-4 at half time back with the men of the back